Hello viewers, back on ride and now racing around the French Riviera course. Nice to see the different environments they've given in the game. Uh, racing around again on my Yamaha R1. This is again stock model, uh, racing here on the medium difficulty setting. Uh, no extra parts. A bit close to calamity there. I was very close in fact. I was quite lucky to get away with that one. Get through the tunnel here, lifting a bit. Car goes wide. I'm sorry, bike goes wide. And away we go. And just look at that braking point now. This is a long corner. You can brake later than you expect on this section. Then you want to line the bike up, get on the power. Lots of wheel spin at the top of the hill. Great feeling of speed. We come around this corner and you get this glow of sunlight on the track surface. And this section here feels really you know, really authentic. You know, it really does have that French Riviera feel about it. And I mentioned on the earlier video that the, the circuit was a little bit wide, and in many respects it is. It's it's the straights. So they can still keep these wide bits on the corners for people. They have little runoff areas, and I think that's important. But I think like sections like this didn't need to be that wide. You know, some of the straights, they could have narrowed a bit, and it wouldn't have made the game any more difficult, and they'd have kept that authenticity. Because the actual environment itself it's really authentic. I mean, the walls, the textures, the looks. I've, I've really enjoyed racing around this and just trying to find more speed. And I think you can see just by just my play here, you know, I'm turning off more assists all the time, getting more into the bike, getting more into the way to ride it and maximize it and get more out of these corners. And it's tricky, you know, I'm doing the best I can here to try and keep up with these bikes in front, but they've got a bit more grip than me perhaps slightly better tyres. I haven't upgraded anything on this bike as you see it here. In the next video you're going to see I've upgraded the bike and then I'll be very competitive. But going down the final corner and if you get the braking wrong on turning it just doesn't cut back in for you. You could touch a little bit of brake and get it in but I prefer just to let the bike run out and then progressively get on the power you'll get more traction. Flat round there full speed great feeling of speed and then a little break as we go into the tunnel if not you will go to the outside and on the power again can't see very well here I'm just literally going flat towards the light couldn't see very well in the tunnel and then coming out of there trying not to go on the outside curve that can suck you out and then at the end of this tunnel you're braking just before you reach the end of the tunnel just to get the bike in the bike still goes wide so I'm taking it to the limit there but there's more speed because I could have braked a bit earlier and got on the power a bit earlier so uh, not really getting the bike where I want it to there but getting a nice line for the exit so I can get on the power early great bit of texturing on the left hand side there love that bit of wall it's nice to see these bits of details they're putting in there but the, the details are very authentic I mean the walls the the look the feel the views the lighting it's bang on uh, the region great feeling of speed I'm looking at trying to take this guy whoa just trying to avoid him there and uh, sending myself a bit wide but cutting back I'm always aware that if I make a mistake I can try and cut back going for the overtake now take third place but he's not letting me by trying to get up on the inside and the bike wheel was sliding and that's knocked me off my bike almost but no problem I'm going to try and close up on him. Looking at the replay now in the bottom corner, really good seeing the replay through these sections, sweeping one way, then the other way, the bike diving in there, the rider moving about, look of the bike, the feel, really nice to see. And it's good to see a bike game having this sort of investment and looking so great there. Great set of sweeping corners to look at the replay on. When you're on the racing line, that is. I mean, when you're completely off it, you probably look like you're all over the place, but getting on the power you could see the bike wobbling as I was struggling with a bit of wheel spin not wanting the bike to wheelie also it's a bit of a issue sometimes and now round this final corner the determination is building in me now to uh, close up on these guys I'm thinking I'm not having this got to get a podium I can't believe I'm thinking myself that I'm I'm in fourth place riding on the medium difficulty setting what am I doing wrong and I think what one thing about ride is 
you know, if you're playing the game, I remember playing it on very easy when I when I first got it, still struggling to get anywhere on the first set of career races. And it's simply because until you upgrade your bike, it's always going to be a great struggle getting anywhere in terms of winning races. I mean, winning, you get up to the top three, but you won't win races generally without upgrading your bike. Uh, and again, this is a good example here. A couple of mistakes. I mean, it's, it's possible if you ride a perfect run to win, but that would be so on the limit. Uh, again, here I'm just battling for third place. But closing up now, got to remember again, you know, you're thinking about where you're moving the bike, the line, a little bit of brake here, let the bike go wide, power on the exit. It's really nice feeling when you get on the power and you hook up an apex. Uh, you know, in fact, I think an apex is more satisfying on here than probably it ever is in a normal driving game just because of the precision required. Not wanting to go near this guy again, trying to cut back again, thinking, right, let's let's try this again. Turn on the other side this time, breaking a bit early. I don't really want to go in back of him, but I can see an opportunity on the inside, maybe cut back in, that's it. And then get on the power, up on the inside, good traction, and we're past him. Now I suddenly feel a feeling of threat from him because I know that he's much quicker than me through this section. So I think, right, I've got to be sensible. I go too quick through there, so I'm slightly offline. I've got to pull it back again feathering the throttle, trying to keep myself perfectly on the racing line. I know that if I stay on the racing line, it makes me harder to pass. That's it. A couple of knocks I've had so far, but it doesn't matter. This is a longer corner on the power, keep the bike straight, flat through there, and now downhill. Now I know there's only one corner to go. I'm going to be braking just before the black mark in the ground. So I'm braking about now, there we go. And then sending the bike in. Feathering the throttle on the power, and then that's it. Now I've just got to keep it flat, get these corners right, and then I've, I've made my podium. My bike is still unhappy, but there are some people you just can't keep happy. He just wants to win. But uh, that's it for this French Riviera run, and there'll be more from me very soon.